A big part of getting rid of the stigma of ADHD is to own it and let people know it's there. It's even more effective when celebrities do that. Today we're talking celebrities with ADHD. And by that I mean celebrities we can actually verify have ADHD with actual sources. We're not going to speculate. We're not going to go with rumors. We're not going to do the probably has ADHD thing. So you're not going to hear Richard Branson, Emma Watson, or Einstein on this list. There are a lot of websites, memes, and YouTubers that like to pass on this information without even verifying it, so you may see it all over the web, doesn't mean it's true. I'm also excluding celebrities who've self-diagnosed or just casually or flippantly mentioned ADHD with the exception of one, which you'll have to see at the end of the video. What do I mean by that? An example is Jamie Oliver. His ADHD is all over the internet, but what he really said about it was, as a kid, I wasn't very bright and I was very hyper, and my parents thought I had attention deficit disorder. I don't know if I do. I don't know if I do. That's a pretty good clue. Okay, let's get to the list. First off, Paris Hilton. There's not a lot out there about Paris Hilton's ADHD, but she did tell Larry King in an interview she's had attention deficit disorder since she was a kid and takes medication for it. Michael Phelps. He mentioned his ADHD in a video he made for the Child Mind Institute's My Younger Self project. He also said he had a teacher who told him he'd never amount to anything. I've had more than one of those teachers. One of them said I should work with my hands. Adam Levine has ADHD. He wrote an article for Attitude where he talks about having 30 ideas in his head and not being able to document any of them. Anybody else relate? Will I Am is a little bit of a controversial figure with some people because he's an outspoken advocate of not medicating children. Outspoken advocate of not. He's an outspoken opponent. I should have said that. We'll fix it in the edit. He has said ADHD was never Never my problem. I thought of it as a gift because it gave me an ability to join dots. Yeah. Channing Tatum. He's another opponent of medicating kids, kind of. He spoke from personal medication experience, saying the more he took, the less it worked. But everybody's different. He didn't say that last line I did. His parents put him into martial arts to channel his energy and teach him some discipline. Michelle Rodriguez has said, I want to write and direct, but it's not easy with ADD. I have a hard time focusing when I'm alone. I'm a scatterbrain, but I'm nervous of taking medication. I don't really want to depend on anything to control my brain. From my experience, it's not control, it's attenuation. Solange Knowles. Let me know in the comments how badly I mispronounced that. Didn't believe the first doctor who told me, and I had a whole theory that ADHD was just something they invented to make you pay for medicine. But then the second doctor told me I had it. What made her think the second doctor wasn't in on the scam too? Howie Mandel in sharing his story of OCD, anxiety, and ADHD said, When I was growing up in the 1960s, my symptoms didn't have a name. So in my case, they were called Howie. I was diagnosed with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder and obsessive compulsive disorder as an adult, but I don't remember a time when I didn't have them. Ty Pennington also made a My Younger Self video for the Child Mind Institute. He said he wasn't aware of his ADHD as a kid and was diagnosed in college. Terry Bradshaw. One of the problems I had as a broadcaster in doing games and one of the things I hated was the fact that I couldn't remember the players' names. Yeah, it's kind of hard to fake. You can't always see the back of the jersey. Vanilla Ice told Time Magazine he has ADHD and takes medication for it, but I think we probably could have just made an assumption there. I mean, have you seen his house flipping show? And then there's Justin Timberlake. Maybe. He told Collider.com that he has ADD and OCD. But it was in response to a reporter playfully asking him if he had OCD as Timberlake was organizing all the stuff on the table in front of him. And the article's in print, so it's hard to interpret. Was he serious about OCD and ADD, or was he just being flippant? If I earned your subscription today, please hit the button and the bell. My daughter also makes videos. I'll link her at the end. Thanks for watching. Stay out of the comfort zone. Mars, the only planet we know of inhabited totally by robots. Eight robots have successfully landed on Mars.